Hey YouTube, hi guys. Uh, so this is an updated version of my single axis um, solar tracker. As you can see, we've got 18 panels of 250 watts each and gives me about 4.5 kilowatts. This is for um, my house with a lithium ion battery bank. Um, so this is my new design. Um, yeah, so I'll quickly show you guys around how it works and um, if you have any other questions I would love to help you or answer them or if anybody else has a better idea uh, please leave a comment and um, I will very much appreciate it. Thank you. Here's a long shot of the new one and the old one. So just for comparison. Okay, so guys, yes, the new design. As you can see, the previous one had this massive construction. Well, it holds up perfectly well. And this is my new design. Much more slimmer, kind of like Apple. No, I'm just joking. Um, yeah, so if you guys can see it. I use the same as the previous one. I didn't use square tubing, I used angle iron this time because um, actually water is a pro uh, problem. So that I, so that there can be no water build up, understand. And square tubing, if you have a hole and it drains and stuff like that, um, it gets in and then it starts to rust. So um, this time I used a solid steel shaft. It goes in about, I think about 300, 500. And it's got a bolt through, just for in case. This is a, actually the only part that is a square tubing. This, the rest is all angle iron. Um, I haven't designed a system yet to incorporate, uh, let's say, a um, angle iron with um, a steel rod. So, if anybody has an idea, that would much be appreciated. As you can see, um, this is my fuses for my panels. Tracking controller, the linear actuator. There's another bearing, 50 millimeters of bearing in the center. Goes through to the top. And there's another bearing with also a steel, steel shaft. So, and this is how I bolted it in. So I cast it in the ground with normal um, new bolts from uh, Isuzu Bucky actually. Uh, I don't know what's called in English. The suspension, something with the expansion. I'm not sure. If you ask me in Afrikaans, I can help you, but um, Blattfira we call it in Afrikaans, so all bolted in like that, and I'm not sure if you guys can see, in the middle there is also a solid steel shaft, two pieces of solar um, steel structures that they join together. So that's basically it guys, and um, oh yeah, and the linear actuator is a 24 volt system, luckily um, Echo Worthy's new solar tracker uses 24 volts and 12 volts, so that was a little bit of a pain, but the new one works perfectly. It's a much bigger system, so thanks guys, thanks for watching. You guys have a great one.